Welcome to Happy Hour, brought to you by Best Damn Bookkeeping. Charity, you at, you put these in a different order than I'm going to show them, but they have one pizza place that has three, like three to four different pizza places in the same one. I got one next to me that it's on number three since we've lived here for seven years. Um, yeah. And so her question was, did the past restaurant sell the equipment with like, does it just yeah. stay there? And it's like a rotation. Well, it's like this, this one place I was telling you about in the five places. The last time it was up for sale was last year. And I really wanted to do it because there's seventy five thousand dollars, and I got everything in the in the place. Like you didn't yeah. own the building, you had to lease it, but for seventy five thousand dollars, you get all the equipment, the chairs. Um, it was a pizzeria, and it had some other equipment there too. I was like, damn, that's what, and that's what people think seventy five thousand dollars. That's pretty cheap. Let me go do it. So this guy did it, and he opened up the restaurant, and immediately it was he kept the same staff, which was horrible. Um, changed the menu, increased the pricing. And it went like seven months. It was done. Shut down. Um, yeah, we had a we had a pizza place by our house that did. Yeah. I really our pizza it. place by our old house had five different things come through it, and it was just like it must be some of pizza places. And I think yeah, they're leaving the equipment there, and it's just like I always like I don't know, man. Like the whole idea of being an entrepreneur is you're going to do it better than the last guy, but like when it's like four, like when you're the fourth owner of the same pizza place in three years, like come on, you cocky son of a bitch. You know what yeah, like, never really shut down, and, and they probably have it smart. Is Chinese restaurants like they're huh? always here. They, they, never they just stick it out every once in a while. I, I see them go out. That's not the traditional entrepreneur model that we want. They are living oh, yeah. in their business. No, I know that it's not. Yeah, yeah it's not a lifestyle anybody wants. Their kids <laughs> are there when they're like born working. So, and that's <laughs> why it's so late. That's why they. Yeah. Succeed. The lady that owns Asia Zen, she answers the phone. She hands me my food. She definitely has some people cooking, but I bet it's her family. And yeah. and they're super good and they're super awesome. Like I, they get a huge tip from me every time I go in there because I'm like, I just don't want I don't want them to ever go out of business. They're awesome. It's secretly loaded too. It's like send all their money back home, whatever. I don't know, but like they're doing everything and they're successful. Yeah. Hey, Home Service Heroes, thank you guys so much for tuning into our Home Service Happy Hour content today. I sure hope you learned a little something, and I sure as a heck hope that it was entertaining. If you did find it fun and entertaining, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more cool, fun, entertaining business content. And speaking of which, stay tuned. There's a little more here and a little more right here. Check it out.